My name is Rina. I live with my husband and my son Makoto. This is Maho. She's a close mom friend of mine and lives next door. Maho has a daughter named Ai, who goes to the same kindergarten as Makoto. We have been helping each other out since our children were young. Our other mom friends were all nice people too, and we all lived a happy life. However, there's this troublesome old man who lives in the neighborhood. Shut up! Don't make such a ruckus in the noon! Be quiet! Study at home or something! You're in my way! Don't stand in the streets and chat! <laughs> you think you women own this place? What shameless woman! When you're all relying on your husband's money to live! He was an old man named Umada. He would come at the children playing in the park and at mom's waiting for the school bus and yell at them. I'm sorry we're in your way, but we're on the side of the streets, not in anyone's way. And we're only here for like 10 minutes until the bus comes. He's really annoying every morning, isn't he? Hey, I can hear you guys. Ah! Umada was terrifying as he came running towards us on his electric wheelchair. This man, Umada, often bragged that he was a landowner who owned a big area of land around the neighborhood. He had turned some of that area into a parking lot, and many of our mom friends were renting a space. So if we ever tried to talk back to him... I won't lend you the parking lot anymore! Should I raise the price? He would threaten us. There are some moms who had reluctantly rented a different parking space farther away after actually having their rent raised by him. That old man's so annoying, isn't he? I heard this before, but apparently that man's son left the house and cut ties with him because of his attitude. I heard his wife went through so much hardship and passed away early. He's the definition of an old fart. Wake not a sleeping lion. We all try to avoid Umada. However, one day, the incident occurred. I'm sorry I asked for so much. I'm sure it was heavy. No worries. I was going to take the car out anyway. Here, your sports drink, veggies, and jelly. Thank you for your help. While I was unable to leave the house because I had to take care of Makoto, who had developed a fever, Maho asked me if I needed anything on her way to the store. It was just as I was giving her some snacks in appreciation after receiving the items she got me. Here's the money, and some snacks. I'm sorry it's nothing special. Don't worry about that. We should help each other when in need. Mrs. Rena, does Makoto still have a fever? It's gotten lower, but he still has a cough, so he might have to rest from kindergarten a little longer. I see. I know! I'll bring the kindergarten news tomorrow after I get it at school. Really? Why, thank you. That helps. Just when I was admiring how sweet little I was, I heard an angry yell from across the street. Shut up! How long are you going to stay there? That's my land, you know? Don't park the car there! Um, this is not your land, Mr. Umada. It's a public road. That's right. And we only stopped it for a short time just to put our luggage down. Shut up! If I say it's causing trouble, then it is! What's wrong with you, woman, making noise from broad daylight? Women like you who live luxurious lives with your husband's money are the type of people I hate the most! Hey, don't come here! As Umada accelerated towards us on his powered wheelchair, I couldn't help but raise my voice at him. It's dangerous if you jump out onto the streets like that. Although a wheelchair, if you continue driving dangerously like that, we'll call the police, you know? What do you mean, police? There's a student of mine at the top of the police department. I used to be a teacher, you know? I will never be caught no matter what I do. It's you women who will be caught for parking your car on my land! So we're telling you it's not yours. It's a public road. He's getting old. Maybe he's going senile. We were talking in a small voice, so there was no way he heard us, but Umada sped up on his wheelchair towards us as if he sensed something. He came running across the street in tremendous speed. You badmouthed me right now, didn't you? What did you say? Say it one more time! We didn't say anything. Anyway, this is a public road, and we'll move the car right now that we finished unloading it. Yeah, so please don't get that upset. And we're in front of a young child. Please, don't make such a scary face. Shut up, shut up! 
Don't you peasants tell me what to do! Ah! I! Yeah! To our surprise, Umada suddenly drove his powered wheelchair at incredible speed and came running straight at us. Maho immediately went to protect Ai, but fell onto the floor with her. Ai! Are you okay? Ai, hang on tight! Ai! It hurts! Ai's leg and foot was run over by the powered wheelchair. Maho, hurry and go to the hospital! It, yeah, Ai, mommy will hold you, okay? Is it okay if I hold you here? Does it hurt? I'm okay. It's only the tip of my foot that hurts. The rest is fine. Ah! Hmm. That happens because you weren't telling me what to do. If you don't want anything worse to happen. Say sorry and listen to what I say from now on. Got it? Of course not. We have a surveillance camera on, so we're going to send it to the police. Be prepared. <laughs> and you think that will scare me? I told you my student works at the top of the police department. There was one person who tried to get at me before. But it didn't become a case at all. If you want to go to the police, go on ahead. They'll just send you back home right away. <laughs> After that, Little Eye and Maho went to the hospital. The results of the inspections showed that Eye's bone was safe and that her leg was just bruised. I'm so glad it wasn't broken. She says it doesn't hurt that much anymore. She's watching TV and looks fine. I'm sorry we made you worry. No, no. It all happened because I asked you to go shopping for me. I'm really sorry. By the way, I burnt the recorded scene from my surveillance camera onto a DVD. Want to use it? Thank you. I will never forgive that old geezer. I got the medical certificate too, so I'm going to the police first thing in the morning. The next day, Umada came to me with his bossy attitude as always. I told you, the police aren't here, are they? No matter how much you peasants try, the police won't take action for you! They know that I'm better than you because I own land! He came all the way to my place to brag and make his point. But this man Umada's face turned pale blue just three days later. Why? Why do I have to go to the police station? I'm the landlord, you know? Much of the land here is mine! I am great! Respect the elderly! Don't arrest me! Umada, who refused to go to the police station, punched the policeman and was ultimately forced to be taken away for his obstruction of performance of official duty. Thereafter, Umada's lawyer and his son came to Maho's house. I was coincidentally there at Maho's house having tea when they came, and was able to see what happened. I deeply apologize for what my father did. In order to prevent anything like this happening again, we have decided to send my father to our relative's house far away. I know this is a selfish request, but... Would you please kindly withdraw the report of damage from the police? After talking to the son for a bit, we found out that he left the house after graduating high school, unable to cope with Umada's selfishness. He now lived peacefully with his family far away. He even had a child now, and was training to be a policeman in the future. Maho thought about it for a while, but I think she empathized with Umada's son and his grandson, who both didn't do anything wrong. Okay, but please promise to take Umada far away for us. We don't want to see him ever again. The compensation and medical fee is a must, too. But my biggest desire is to have him out of our sight. Thank you very much. Of course, I will definitely fulfill my promise. After that, Umada was brought over to Maho's house by his son to apologize. He was deeply shocked that he was arrested and looked completely worn out. I was wrong. I cannot hear you. I said I was wrong. I even paid you money. Forgive me already! What kind of way of apologizing is that? Bow your head down and apologize properly! <laughs> you taught me to do so, didn't you? You said I had to kneel on the floor and apologize after doing something wrong! After being dragged down from his wheelchair, Umada, who crawled pitifully on the floor, was showered with the painful sharp stares of the people who gathered. How sad. We wouldn't want to be an elderly like that. Hearing such comments from the crowd, Umada completely lost it. 
As a result of rampaging around, he was given a smack by his son as he shouted, Quit it already! and fell onto the ground unconscious. After that, Umada disappeared from town and peace was restored. Half a year later, we heard from Umada's son when he came to visit that Umada had apparently passed away at his relative's house. Apparently, their relative lived by the ocean and worked as a fisherman. Of course, my father couldn't go out to fish because of his legs. But our relative is a strong believer of, he who does not work, neither shall he eat. I agreed with that too. So my father worked every day clearing and fixing the fishing nets. So why did he pass away? I think he hated the fact that he had to work. He ran away from home at night. To the ocean. It was dark in the area and he wasn't familiar with the place yet. I think he took the wrong road. Oh, I'm so sorry about what happened. Honestly, I thought he just suffered the consequences. When I told Maho about that, well, it's good that even an old geezer like him was able to do good and become nutrition for the fishes. She said something quite scary. Well, he did injure her precious daughter. I guess it's normal she would feel that way. Little Eye's injury got all better, and she is now playing happily with my son Makoto. Mommy, look! A beetle! Makoto caught it! Hmm, so we can find beetles here too, huh? Gah! Not that, you two. It's a roach. Let go of it. Why? It's a female beetle, right? No, it's not. While many things do happen, I'm glad life became peaceful after Umada disappeared. I hope that we can continue living happily like this forever. I'm Mina. I'm a housewife. I live with my husband and my son, Kenta. I live in a condo. I have lots of friends there and everyone's really nice. I was really good friends with Mao, my next door neighbor. We've known each other since our kids were babies. We always helped each other out, you know. But then, this woman named Ririko moved in a few months ago. She was trouble. What the hell are you wearing? What's so cheap? He must be embarrassed. It's really comfortable, actually. That's so lame. I've never seen anyone wearing that. Get it away from me, please. What kind of cosmetics do you use? Uh, the ones from the pharmacy? I bet you use one of those really cheap ones. You gotta level up your game and use Chanel or Dior like me. Come on, you're still a woman. She was pretty, so I guess she was really confident. She had the looks, and she looked down on all of us at every chance she got. And she always tried to make us look after her son, Leon. I'm off to the beauty salon. When Leon comes home, look after him, okay? Make him some cookies or something. I can't. I'm busy. Oh, come on, Mina. Our kids are in the same class. Please. Oh, help him with his homework too, okay? Kenta has swimming school after class. I can't look after your son. Fine, then just look after him after you come home, okay? I said no. Why are you going to a beauty salon anyways? You know your son is coming home. Because I gotta go there twice a month, and today was the only opening. Hey, I know you guys are poor, so you probably wouldn't understand, but it takes a lot of money and time to stay beautiful. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not looking after your son. I'm not letting him in the house. I snapped at her, but she didn't seem to care. She went off to the beauty salon anyway. When her son came home, she couldn't get in. He was crying outside the door. I felt bad, but if I let him in once, she'll just keep asking me to look after him. I felt really bad, but I didn't help him. Then, her husband came home. He seemed shocked. When Ririko came home a few hours later, when she realized Leon wasn't at my place, she flipped out. Her husband yelled at her for hours. Good riddance. I guess she learned her lesson. She stopped asking me to look after her kid after that. But the thing is, she didn't clean up her act. In fact, she blamed me for what happened and started harassing me. At our apartment, the residents took turns cleaning the garbage dump. And when it was my turn, Ririko decided to break the rules to get back at me. What's this? 
I thought the garbage truck already came. Look, it's got plastic in it. It got rejected. <sighs> Whose is this? At first, I had no idea it was Ririko. So we had to open the bag and separate the plastic from the other trash. It smelled terrible, too. Ugh, why me? And it happened to me every time I was on duty. Then one of my friends told me that she saw Ririko with the bag. Ririko, I know it was you. You can't mix plastic with the other trash. Yeah, and you did it three times in a row. We had to go through your garbage and sort it ourselves. Stop it already. What? You got proof, huh? We got eyewitnesses. Yeah, and it smells terrible too. There are cats and crows all over the garbage dump thanks to you. Just don't do it again, okay? Still don't know what you're talking about. But either way, I'm really busy so I don't have time to sort my garbage. You don't work. Yeah, but unlike you guys, I gotta go to beauty salons and stuff. So it takes a lot of time and effort to stay beautiful. That has nothing to do with following the garbage rules. Yeah, don't do it again. I'm serious. Ah, get off my back. You guys are poor. That's all you're good for. Just do it. It must be nice seeing how the rich live. Things like packages of meat you'll never be able to afford. You should be honored that you can go through my garbage. We were speechless. Then she left before we could say anything. You want to play it like this? Fine. Game on. What the? What's all this garbage doing in front of my door? Who did this? <laughs> Ririko pulled the same thing again after our little talk. But we were done sorting her garbage. We took her trash and put it in front of her door before the garbage truck came. That day, they were collecting oversized garbage too. But she didn't put on the sticker she was supposed to, so... We left those in front of her door, too. And now, her door couldn't open. She was freaking out. We told you to sort your garbage, but you didn't. So here, we brought it back for you. And you're supposed to put the stickers on your oversized garbage. Here, take these back, too. What the hell? These aren't even mine. Nice try. We've been watching you this whole time. We've got proof too, you know. See, look at this. We got you on video. We showed this to the landlord. He said he's gonna think about kicking you guys out of the apartment. What the hell? You told on us? What's your problem? Just get these things out of my way. I can't leave my house. I gotta... Let me guess. You gotta go to the beauty salon? Seriously? No, oh, today I got... What's going on here? Teacher? Right. Teachers are visiting students' homes today. It was our teacher from school. He was young and handsome. Hey, sorry about this. Those two there, they're being mean to me. They're the ones that put it there. Oh, stop it! You did this to yourself! <laughs> See, the thing is... Mao explained everything that happened to him. He looked upset. I see. It all makes sense now. That's why Leon can't behave in school. What? What are you saying? Leon is a good boy. He's really good at sports and... Sure, bud. He never helps others clean and he asks others to do his job for him. And whenever he doesn't get his way, he freaks out and goes crazy. Oh, just like her. Hey, I heard that. Shut up and move this trash. I can't get in. Hurry up. That's exactly what Leon does. 
He blames others and never takes responsibility for what he did. Now it all makes sense. What? How can you say that to me? Please come clean and apologize about what you did. <laughs> Take responsibility for your actions, for your son's sake, so we can grow up to be a decent human being. That's all I can tell you for now. I'm done here. Then he left. He was always really nice, but he was really scary back there. I had no idea. Mao and I were really surprised, and Ririko just stood there in silence after he left. Later, Ririko didn't learn anything. She started freaking out and took it out on us. You're not getting away with this! We didn't want to talk to her anymore, so we just left her there with a pile of trash. Then her husband came home and they had a long talk. I could hear them yelling at each other even after it got dark out. The next week, we saw the movers come to our apartment. That's Ririko's mother-in-law. I saw her with Leon the other day at the grocery store. Turns out her mother-in-law was moving in with them. Who would have thought? This is all your fault. Now I got someone watching me around the clock. No more beauty salons. I can't even get my nails done anymore. And she checks my trash too. This is all your fault. You did this to yourself. Yeah, have fun. <laughs> Her mother-in-law was really strict. Ririko started looking worse by the day. After a few months, her beauty was gone. She looked like a totally different person. We were so grateful for her. We no longer had to go through her garbage. My son told me that Leon was starting to behave in school now, all thanks to his strict grandma. I don't really care about Ririko, but Leon was just a kid. I hope things work out well for him. And Ririko stopped harassing us altogether thanks to her mother-in-law. Ah, peace at last. Hey, get up! <laughs> Mom's cleaning the house for us. Help her. Let me rest. Ren, thank you, dear. It's okay, though. Daddy was working late last night. He's tired, okay? I know he was, but you've been working hard, too. You're right, Rin. I'm sorry. I'm going to do everything around the house today. You just relax, Ioni. Glad you understand, Daddy. Oh, Rin. Let's do this. I'll help you too, Daddy. I'll help. Let's all do it together, then. I'm Ayane. I'm a housewife. I live with my husband, Hayato, and my daughter, Rin. Rin was a great girl. She was kind of straight towards Haruto, but she was a really nice girl nonetheless. On Father's Day, she gave him a ticket for a back rub. And my husband spent a lot of time with us too. He was such a great husband. I love them both so much. I'm off. Have a good day. Bye, Daddy. Haruto always left first. Then Rin and I got ready for kindergarten. One day, on our way there... Hi, Ayane. Hi, Rin. Hey, Rin! Hi, Sumomo! Hello. This was Mikan. Her daughter was in the same class as mine. Her daughter was really nice, but her? I didn't really like her as much. Rin! Look! I got new shoes! Cute. Hey, don't brag now. Unlike us, they're poor, so they can afford new shoes, okay? Oh, sorry, Rin. What? We can afford shoes? Yeah, but I bet you get really cheap ones that are on sale. These shoes cost $300, you know. It's just not the same, okay? I love my shoes. Daddy got them for me for my birthday. You're talking about those? Oh, poor you. Leave her alone. The price of something doesn't matter. <laughs> let's go, Rin. Okay. Rin, let's play together during recess, okay? Okay. Glad the kids are getting along. But as you saw just now, 
Mikan was always bragging about how rich she was. She lived in a huge condo near the station. Her daughter applied to an expensive private kindergarten but got rejected. So she ended up here with us. I didn't really like her, but the kids got along, so I didn't want to make waves, you know? Then, one day, Rin got a letter from Sumomo. What's that, hun? An invitation! Oh, can I see? The letter said, Rin, come over on Sunday. We're having a party. So, can I go? Well, I gotta ask her mom first. I wasn't even sure if they were actually holding a party, so... But the next day... Ren, did you read the invitation? Yep. So, you coming? Party! Party! Please come. Huh? You got nothing else to do, right? Bring your husband too if you want. I'll have some great food there. Oh, but we got plans on Saturday. I thought we weren't going to Grandma's house anymore. I want to play with Sumomo. Please? Yeah, please, Rin's mom. Come on, just come. It'll be fun. Okay, thanks. Yay, time to party, Rin. Yay, party. I tried to lie, but that didn't work. Plus, Rin really wants to go, so I guess we're going then. Lame. Dad! Party on Saturday! Cool! Better dress up then! Yeah? They seemed really excited. I really didn't want to go, but whatever. Then it was Saturday. Hello! Rin! Nice to see you! They started hugging. I guess they really liked each other. Welcome! And you brought your husband too. It's nice to meet you. Thanks for having us. Welcome. It's not much, but make yourself at home. We're actually moving into a bigger room next month. There was an opening on a different floor. I see. Look at this painting. I got it in an auction. It cost me 5 million yen. That's amazing! Yeah, I just can't say no to art, you know? I had a bad feeling about her husband. Let's eat then. We started eating. Dinner was amazing. Caviar, foie gras, you name it. It was delicious too. I bet you've never tried this before. Eat up. If you want to take some home, just ask. Okay. Want some wine? It's nothing like the cheap wine you drink. Uh, okay, uh, thanks. They were so condescending. They bragged about their wealth every chance they got. Haruto looked upset, too. I told him that he didn't listen. But Sumomo and Rin were having fun, so... whatever. Rin, try this! It's caviar! It tastes so bad! What? I don't want it then. Come on! I dare you! Do it! <laughs> fine, fine! I'll eat it! After dinner, we went into the living room and watched TV. I wanted to go home, but Rin wanted to stay longer. Should we get going? Just a little longer, please? Yeah, no need to rush. Make yourself at home. Rin was having a lot of fun, so we decided to stay a little longer. Then we saw this girl in the bunny costume on TV. What is she wearing? You don't know? Maybe this is inappropriate for kids. Oh, relax, it's fine. Look at the graphics on the TV. It was so expensive. I didn't want my daughter watching this show. I reached for the remote to change the channel, but then Haruto grabbed it first. Sorry, I'm gonna change the channel. Then Sumomo said something shocking. Rin! This 
This is the outfit Daddy wears at night. It gives him all kinds of special powers. Cool. What are you saying? Stop being ridiculous. Yeah, what's wrong with you, honey? They were all sweating like crazy. <laughs> uh, Rin, this way, I'll show you. Okay. No, wait. <laughs> then Sumomo took Rin to their bedroom. We chased them, but it was too late. Rin, look, this is Daddy's special outfit. She showed everyone the bunny costume. Cool. Can I see? No, Rin, don't touch that! Stop it! <laughs> he pushed Rin and took the outfit from her hands. She hit her head on the dresser. <laughs> Rin, are you okay? Why did you push my daughter? <laughs> Shut up. Get out of here, now. You serious? You little... Haruto was about to jump on him, but then... You hurt my friend, Dad! That's it. I'm mad now. Then she walked up to the dresser and took out something else. They were pictures. You hurt my friend, Dad! I'm not gonna forgive you for this! I'm gonna throw away all your precious pictures now! Then she ran to the balcony. Oh, she dropped one. Wow, it's him wearing the bunny costume. And Mikan is in the picture too. Then Subomo threw the pictures out the window. What are you doing? I gotta go get them. Not so fast. First, apologize to Rin. Haruto grabbed his arm. Let me go, please. I'll go, dear. No, I'm not letting you two go. Not until Dad apologizes. Sumo blocked her mom in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Please forgive me. He started crying as he apologized to Rin. Haruto finally let them go. The two of them went outside and spent hours picking up those pictures. It was pretty funny. Then everyone in the condo found out about his little costume fetish. I guess some of the pictures flew into other people's balconies. And Mikan's parents lived in the same condo. They weren't too happy when they found out. Turns out they weren't rich at all. It was Mikan's parents who gave them the house and money. Her husband was just a regular office worker. After this incident, they stopped giving them money. They got kicked out of the condo too. I hear Sumomo went to live with her grandparents and we reported her husband to the police after what he did to Rin. People in his company found out about it and he got fired. I hear they now live in an old apartment with no shower. I saw them picking grass near the river the other day. They looked terrible. As for Rin, she was doing just fine. And she was still great friends with Sumomo. She's actually coming over today. Rin, that outfit is no good. You shouldn't wear it, even when you grow up. It turns you into a bad person. Okay, got it. All right, let's play then. Yay! You guys are so energetic. Just be careful, okay? Okay, Dad, join us. Me? Yeah, if you don't play with us, no dinner for you. Yeah, no dinner for you. Fine, fine. I'll play. Oh well, as long as they're having fun. Good luck, Haruto. Anyways, I wonder what Mikan's husband was up to with that outfit. Ah, uh, forget it. I don't think I want to know. I'm Kana. I'm single and I work for a company. I've lived with my mom and my brother at home, but my brother got married and his wife Ririka said she wanted to live here, so I decided to move out. Sorry about that. We are considering building our own house, so we want to save up. It's only until we have money, alright? It's alright. I'm not going far anyways. 
I'm just moving to the second house in the garden, but the second house only has a shower, so I will come here to take a bath, if you don't mind. Of course not! Sorry for being so selfish. It's fine. I'm thankful enough you even married this Mr. Ordinary. Hey, don't be so mean. So, Ririka, take care of my brother, will you? Shinji, take care of mom. Sure! Leave it to me. So I started living in the second house in the garden. It was originally a small house that my grandmother used to live in, so it only has one floor and is about 50 square meters. Initially, my brother said he and his wife would live there, so I thought it might be too crammed for them. Also, my mother seemed happy to live with her daughter-in-law. It's nice that they can get along. So I let them live in the main house. But what I did ended up being a big mistake. Hey mom, what are you doing? Why are you alone? Where did Shinji and Ririka go? I found my mother eating dinner all alone when I went to grab a DVD from the main house. They went out to eat. Why didn't you go with them? But they said they were going to enjoy the spicy ramen place that I can't really eat. So, it's fine. I like eating dinner and watching TV anyway. But I couldn't leave her alone, so I sat down with her and had dinner together. Although I already had my dinner, so I couldn't just leave her alone. I asked my brother when he got home that night. Shinji. Why did you leave mom all alone? Didn't you feel sorry for her? But Ririka said she wanted to get spicy ramen. But there are dishes that aren't spicy. Why didn't you take her? Because Ririka said that the place is popular, so we might not be able to get in quickly if we are a group of three. What the hell? How can you guys just leave mom out? Well, that's easy to say, but it's really hard to be the bridge between your mom and your wife. Uh, haven't you heard? If you don't side with your wife, it could result in a divorce. I've done my best, and I don't think you have the right to say anything to me. After that, there were several cases where I found mom left out of the group. It was better if she was left at home. She was sometimes left at the supermarket. What are you doing here, mom? Did you walk back? Ririka seems to have gone. I couldn't find the car, so I walked back. Hey, Ririka, what is the meaning of this? Why did you leave my mom? I'm so sorry. I completely forgot that I was getting a package. I told her to wait on the bench so that I could go and pick her up. Maybe she didn't hear me. Did you really think I would believe that? Why do you do horrible things to my mom? I'm not doing anything horrible. And I said it wasn't on purpose. If you're going to suspect me that much, then maybe I should divorce him. I'll tell my lawyer that the family was mean to me. Please don't. I don't want Shinji to get a divorce because of me. I'm fine. Thanks, Kana. I was so angry that I went to the main house to talk to my brother that night. On the way, I heard a voice in the garden. It was Ririka's voice. I know. If she gets sick of living with us and leaves, we can live here for free. If she gets depressed and dies, we can even inherit her assets. Once I get the house, I'll invite mom and dad so that we can live together. Don't worry, I won't mess up. The smile she made in the darkness gave me goosebumps. I heard you saying it. You wanted to live here because you wanted the house, right? Shinji, this woman is as evil as a devil. Leave her right now. Hey, hey, what is this all of a sudden? Yeah, what are you talking about? Were you dreaming? Do you have anything to prove what you are saying? Ugh. I left my smartphone in the second house, so I couldn't record anything. I'll have to gather proof and reveal her secrets. The following day, I hid cameras and IC recorders in the main house while Ririka was out. But my actions were too late. Ririka crossed the line. The cherry blossoms in the garden are beautiful. Looking from below is nice too, but the view from the balcony here is exceptional. I know. 
I really like the view from here. I used to sit here with my husband. Really? Then come closer. When I got back from work, I found the two having a conversation on the balcony. My mom was looking at the cherry blossoms with a happy face. We used to do cherry blossom viewing from that balcony as a family when I was still a child. I remember my father telling me and my brother to be careful because the handrail on the balcony was low. It was that moment that I remembered that. What? No! Mom! Dodge! Ririka was trying to push my mother's back. My mother noticed my voice and turned around. But because she turned around, Ririka missed and... <coughs> Ririka! Oh no! Are you okay? Quick! The ambulance! Ririka fell off the balcony. She rolled onto the rooftop and was thrown onto the ground. It was so mean! Your mom pushed me off the balcony! Look what she's done to my legs! <sighs> what are you talking about? You're the one who tried to push my mom's back. Why would I do such a thing? You believe me, right, Shinji? I mean, I broke my leg. I can't do this anymore. I want to get a divorce. I'm going to sue you, so you better be ready for it. Hey, don't get so mad. Mom, come on. Say that you're sorry. Tell her to rethink the divorce. Why does mom have to apologize? I have proof this time. Proof? Don't tell me that the proof is that you saw it happen. The witness of a family member doesn't count. I have a video. I hid a camera in the room next to the balcony. <laughs> camera? Why do you have a camera in that room? When I tried to play the transmitted video, Ririka became like a devil and tried to grab me. But her legs didn't obey her and she fell onto the bed. She fell head first and her pretty little face became swollen. After checking what she did on the video, my brother's face went pale. And he started shouting that he was going to get a divorce and it became a mess. What? What's wrong with not liking my old apartment and wanting to live in a big house? Why do I have to be blamed for everything? All people should just go to care homes and give the house away! Because she was shouting in a shared hospital room, the others started filming it and it went viral. People pointed at her and laughed at her. I can't live with you any longer. People will think that I'm like you. Just divorce me. I don't want to see your face ever again. If you divorce him and leave now, we won't sue you. But you won't. We are ready to fight. All right, fine. I'll find another rich guy. So my brother was able to divorce Ririka and our family became peaceful once again. I'm really sorry, Mom. It's all because I married that thing. It's all right. What's done is done. I still haven't forgiven you. If you think what you did was wrong, you should spend more time with her and repay her. Let's see. What do you say about bringing us to a hot spring? How's that, Mom? I'll take you anywhere. Hot spring, abroad, you name it. I'm really sorry. Forgive me. From stories I heard, Ririka's legs didn't quite heal properly, so she was always dragging a leg. After returning home, her parents told her that she is useless and she was told to leave. Please, Shinji, can we start over again? My parents are kicking me out. I'll be better and I'll be nice to your mother, so... What makes you think I'll trust you again? Don't call me ever again! <laughs> so apparently she was kicked out of her own house. I saw Ririka coming out of an old, dirty-looking apartment dragging her leg. She looked like she was wearing a dress that a hostess wears, so maybe she's doing that kind of job. But who cares? It's none of my business. Shinji, I want to go to a fancy Japanese restaurant next. It'd be perfect because mom likes fish. That's true. But I feel bad for Shinji, using his money to go to all of these places. Don't worry. 
This is to make up for what I've done. I'll do anything. That's the spirit. I think I'll have the special sushi plate. What? Hey, go a little easier on me, okay? I won't have any money left. From now on, I hope we can have a nice time with the three of us. Miss! Wait for me! Miss! Shut up. Stop following me. Miss! Please! I'm Inuzuka. I'm a Yakuza. My boss just gave an extremely important mission. He told me to become friends with his daughter. Turns out she has no friends at school. Can you blame her? Her father was the head of a Yakuza, so... Ha <laughs> ha! You? Taking care of a little girl? I hear she doesn't even like you! Hey, watch your mouth, kid! This is my subordinate, Heiji. He's always acting up. I gotta show him who's boss every now and then. <laughs> so I jammed the bottle of hot sauce in his mouth. It won't be your mouth next time! I'm sorry! I would shoot him, but not in front of her. She hates violence because that's basically the reason why she can't have any friends. Hey, miss! Let's get some bubble tea! No. She just won't let me in! What am I doing wrong? I gotta do something. I don't want to disappoint my boss. A few days later, we were out in the city. Then I saw something disturbing. Hey, idiot! Walk faster! Sorry. Ugh, so useless, stupid woman. There was this couple. The lady was pushing a stroller. She was carrying all their stuff, too. Seriously? I haven't seen anything like that in a while. I better have a word with him. Huh? Where did she go? You're annoying. Huh? What the? She was talking to the jerk. Watch your mouth, kid. Kid, you're talking to me? Who else, huh? Dumb kid, go away. What did he just say to her? That's it. Hey, asshole! What? What did you say to her? Say it again. I dare you. You're not getting away with this. You're going to pay. I closed in on him. Oh! Inuzuka, stop. His wife is scared. Sorry. Let's go now. Okay. Hold it! Ah! A jerk! He got lucky. If it wasn't for her, he'd be sleeping with the fishes by now. I hate how you try to deal with everything with violence. Stop following me. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Ah! This is all his fault! I bought her all kinds of stuff, but it was no use! She didn't even look at me after that! How do I become friends with her? Haha! <laughs> I hear it's not going well, Mr. Inuzuka. Are you giving up? Absolutely not! Come here! Ah! I'd usually chop off a finger or two if my subordinate talked to me like that. But... If I do that, she'll never even talk to me again! So instead... I took one of the dolls from his collection and chopped off its fingers. A few days later... I was out in the city with her again. As always, she told me to stay away. Then we saw him again. That jerk from the other day. His face is so annoying. I just want to beat the crap out of him. No, no, hold it. Looks like he's with his daughter today. He's telling them something. Can't really hear them from here. Misaki, the thing is, mom is cheating on me. What? The baby, it's not mine. It's someone else's. You're joking, right? I wish I was. Can you help me get rid of the baby? What? Yeah, I'll distract her. You grab the stroller. I can't do that. But we gotta teach her a lesson. This is our responsibility. Otherwise, she might leave us and go live with her boyfriend. What? Oh no. The daughter looks upset. Is she okay? Inuzuka, what are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Come on, let's go get some dessert. Dessert, huh? Sure. Oh yeah? Cool. I know a great place. Yes! She's finally letting me in! I think... I didn't care about them anymore. I started walking with her towards the cafe I knew about. A few minutes later, we arrived. The cafe was down those stairs. The stairs were pretty steep, though. Hey, let me carry you. I mean, nothing. I'm sorry. <laughs> She looked pissed when I said that. Phew, that was close. She's finally letting me in. I gotta watch what I say. Then that guy showed up again. 
His daughter and his wife were with him. The wife was pushing a stroller like the other day. Maybe they're going to the cafe too. Whatever. Okay, miss. I'll go first. Follow me, okay? What's wrong? She was staring at the family. Crap! Forgot my wallet at the last place. The husband said something to the wife. We'll go in first. Go get my wallet for me. Okay. Mom, I'll watch the baby. Huh? Then the daughter grabbed the stroller and kicked it. The stroller went flying down the stairs! No! Inuzuka, do something. Yes, ma'am! I ran down the stairs. I haven't run like this since the last gang war. Inuzuka! She was yelling now. I have to save the baby for her! I gotta hurry! Go! Grab the stroller! I dove towards the stroller, grabbed it, and fell down the stairs. Phew! The baby was safe. Ah! My arm! I think it's broken! Crap! Inuzuka, thank you. She thanked me. It hurt like hell, but it was definitely worth it. But that guy... I can't just let him go! Ah! Why did you do that? Wait, you're that guy from the other day. What the hell is your problem? You too, little girl! No, listen, it's mom's fault. She's the one that betrayed us. Huh? What are you talking about? The baby. It's not dad's, right? You're cheating on him, right? What? No! But dad said so. She's right! The kid isn't mine! That's enough, asshole! Inuzuka. I understand. No violence. Good. You're the one cheating on her, right? What? When we ran into you the first time, you were really disrespectful to the miss. Since then, all I've been thinking about is how to take you down. What was that? It's okay. It was just in my head. So I looked into you. Here, look at this. I handed him some pictures. It was a picture of him with his mistress walking into a motel. What? How did you... We got eyes and ears everywhere. What? Oh, Dad. Still want to make excuses? By the way, the girl in the picture, she's one of ours. One of our captain's daughters. What? Really? Yep, the captain. He's the devil himself. You better watch your back. What? No! Help me! The guy ran off. He went to the police for protection. But his wife and daughter were there too, and told them everything that happened. The husband got arrested. He tried to kill his own baby for the insurance money. Apparently he was in debt to some hostess and he needed the money. Unbelievable. But the good thing is, he won't be out for a while. And he hasn't slept in days. I told one of my friends in there to tell him that the captain put out a hit on him. The thing is, I made it all up. That girl in the picture was some hostess I knew nothing about. By the way, they both ended up paying the wife for damages. And let's not forget child support! Later, I still see the three of them walking in the city from time to time. They look really happy together. But for a little while, the daughter was really upset about what she did to the baby. She looks okay now though, thank god. As for me, my right arm was still broken. It sucks so much. And my boss yelled at me the other day because I'm still not friends with his daughter. <sighs> Lame. Inuzuka. Yes, miss? Here. Huh? She put something on my arm. It was a sticker. It read, Well done. Oh, thank you. Inuzuka, let's go out and get some ice cream. Yes, of course. Come on, hurry up. Ah, not my right arm, that hurts! Ah! I guess she's starting to let me in. It felt really good. Better than the time I joined the family. It was a strange feeling I've never felt before. I don't know how to describe it, but... Oh well. Mission accomplished. Ugh, so cute! <laughs> Nagisa, you sure love animals, but you're super strong. Just be careful, okay? What? Haruka, how can you say that? I'm such an innocent girl. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, that hurts. I got feelings too, you know? 
But, Nagisa, the other day you took down a grown man. Uh, that wasn't me. Oh, whatever. Be nice to the doggy. Hey, Rin. Sorry. See, Haruka? She thinks I'm gonna hurt the dog now. <laughs> I'm Nagisa. I'm a regular innocent high school student. I love animals. Don't listen to my friend. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Haruka and I always went to the pet store after school to look at cute puppies. My dad hated dogs. Apparently, he got bit by one when he was a kid or something. I really wanted a dog, though. Then, one day, it was test week. I got off school a bit earlier than usual. On my way home, I saw a bunch of kids at the park. What's going on? Joe, you don't have a mom, right? Bob told me. I bet your mom was really mean. Shut up! Don't talk about my mom like that! You can't talk to us like that! We're older than you! We better teach you a lesson! Hey, what's going on? Who are you? Get out of here! We can take her! You sure about that? I'm pretty strong. Haha, <laughs> good one! You're an old lady! Yeah, come on, Grandma! You little... that's it! Ah! Run! <sighs> you alright? I didn't ask you to help me. Ah, uh, sorry. Then the boy they called Joe went home. Maybe he was embarrassed that a girl helped him out. The next day, on my way home, I ran into them again. Come on, hit me! Yeah, you whip, grab a pair! Yeah, bring it! Mom told me to never use violence. Violence is for the weak. Ha, <laughs> that's loser talk! Loser, loser! It was them again. Joe was injured. Those kids probably hit him. Hey, you! Crap, it's that old lady! Ah, forget it, let's go! Yeah! Hold it! I tried to grab them, but they ran off on their bicycles. Joe, you alright? Yeah, just leave me alone, okay? But I'm worried. Maybe I should talk to your teacher. I don't trust grown-ups. I asked them for help once and nothing changed. Hey! Then he ran off. The next day, I was still really worried about Joe. Nagisa, what's going on? You seem upset about the test. Don't worry, nobody expects you to do well. No, that's not it. I don't care about the test. What is it then? I know you're jealous because I have a boyfriend now. Don't worry. When practice starts again, I'll spend more time with you, okay? That's not it either. Then, what is it? I told Haruka about Joe. Can't trust adults, huh? Maybe his teacher wasn't able to help him. Isn't there anything we can do? Not much we can do. Hey, that reminds me. Uh-huh, you're giving up already? Hey, there's nothing we can do. But listen, there's a stray dog in the park. Huh? I heard about him from a friend. You always wanted a dog, Nagisa. This is your chance. I'd love to, but my dad... Let's just go see. Come on! No, if I see it, I'm gonna have to take it home. The thing is, I really want a dog now thanks to you. So, if your dad says no, I'll take it. Fine, fine. Alright, let's go after school then. So, after classes, we headed to the park to check out the dog. Joe! Joe? Oh, you mean that boy you were talking about? It was Joe, and the bullies. They were at the park again. Joe was hurt. They probably beat him up again. Look, it's missing a leg! Let's play soccer with it! Let's drop it from a bridge! Let's leave it out on the road! Stop! You want more, huh? Yeah, you bit me! That hurt! Yeah, he got me pretty good too. Let's finish him! Oh, forget him. He can't even move. Let's play with the dog. Let's step on it and see what happens. What's going on here? Wow! You scared me! Ugh! It's that old lady again! You wanna end up like Joe? Yeah, you look pretty weak, just like Joe! Joe isn't weak. You're the weak one here. Huh? You're weak. That's why you pick on dogs and younger kids. What did you say? Let's get her! All right! Let's do this! They all grabbed weapons. 
They can't even fight with their fists? Pathetic. Forget it. Let's do this. But then, Joe got up and stood in front of me. Stop! Joe, thank you. But don't worry about me. I'm pretty strong. Joe, you just rest, okay? But... I pulled Joe away and stood in front of him. Okay then, come on, bring it on. Take this, old lady! Ha! Ah! Too slow. What the... What the hell? She's so strong! I took their weapons and threw it away. Genta, she's crazy! Yeah, run! Okay! Not so fast! They tried to make a run for it, but Haruka stopped them. I'm taking you all back to school. I can take her! Ah! Take that! Oof! She's super strong too! Of course she is. We both played judo for Uwasa High. She's the national champion, by the way. They finally gave it up. We took them back to school. What's going on here? These three were picking on Joe. They also tried to hurt a stray dog. What? They wouldn't do that. They're all really smart. And Kenta's mom is head of the PTA. Kenta, you didn't do this, right? Of course not. Told you. What a terrible teacher. No wonder these kids are out of control. But we saw them doing it. You got proof, huh? I bet you don't have any proof. Arr, I got it, right here. What? Haruka showed the teacher the video on her phone. She got it all on tape. The kids trying to hurt the dog? Trying to attack us with baseball bats? How's that? When did you... I'm smart too, Nagisa. My brain isn't made of muscles like yours. What? So, what do you want to do? The thing is, I got you on tape. All those things you just said to us, it's all here. I guess I'll just send them to some gossip magazine. Wait, please, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. What's going on? Principal? The principal? Oh, good. Wait, no. What is it? Well... We showed him the video and told him everything that happened. The teacher was screwed. Turns out he was covering for them all along. He did all of it because one of the kids' moms was the head of the PTA. But when people found out about what happened, he had no choice but to quit. As for the bullies... Hustle, get it together! Yes, ma'am! I can't hear you! Yes, ma'am! Their parents asked us to train them at our dojo, so we took them in. Their parents even shaved their heads. I helped out around the dojo from time to time, so I'm gonna train them good. They were always crying, though. Come on, be a man! Get it together! Look at Joe. He's younger than you, but he's not complaining. Joe joined our dojo, too. He said he wanted to become strong so he could protect others. Joe had a good heart. He was going to be a great judo player one day. By the way, Haruka took in that dog we found at the park. She named it Wonko. Joe and I always go to her house to play with him. Wonko! Don't hurt him now. Stop saying that! Anyways, Joe, you fought those bullies to protect Wonko, right? Yeah, Mom always told me it's okay to fight if you're trying to protect something. I see. Hear that, Wonko? Say thank you, Joe. <coughs> if I ever get married and have kids, I want them to grow up like Joe. Oh well, that won't be for a while, so... For now, I'm going to focus on getting better at Judo.